Today I'm talking to the super cool Josh Tetrick. He is the co-founder and CEO of Eat Just. He has also worked for President Clinton, the UN, and the government of Liberia. I watched your YouTube interview about human capital ministry conclave with the World Bank. What is human capital anyways? Human capital just means the strengths and the talent that humans have. That's all. Just like if you're a really good chef, that is human capital. If someone's a really good basketball player, that's human capital. That's all. Funny thing is I do really like to cook. I can tell. I can tell. I feel it. (laughs) The world is in the midst of a global food crisis. This is only going to get worse because of climate change. 350 million kids go to bed hungry. Kids can't stay in school and help save the world if they can't get enough food to eat. You talked about nutrient deficiencies. 200 million kids are suffering right now. What do these deficiencies mean for kids? Being deficient just means that the kids aren't getting enough good, healthy food. And when you don't get enough good, healthy food, all sorts of things can happen. Like you're not growing big and strong like you need to. You're not thinking like you need to. You're not going to be able to recover when you get injured as much as you need to. So being deficient in all those nutrients has a big impact on their lives, right? Their ability to be, to think, to grow up and do what they want to do. And that's, that's not a good thing. Yeah. My sister is a chef and I love cooking too, as I said before. I'm trying to make as many vegan choices as I can. Just Egg is a plant-based egg that could help everyone free up resources that we use producing 1.4 trillion eggs a year on the planet. Like 98% less water and 93% less carbon emissions. That's super cool. I cooked one up here. I thought I could do a live taste test. This is one of my favorite after-school snacks. It's a bacon buddy with Yves veggie bacon and a slice of tomato and a folded Just Egg on top and ketchup. Sorry to all those anti-ketchup people like my dad all right waiting 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 that's really good okay nice yeah stockholm climate week had food and agriculture day and i talked to sustainable farming expert michael bomford 50 percent of the plant's habitable land right now is taken up by agriculture and one third of our emissions come from food systems there are 33 billion chickens on the planet right now think of all the space we could save and the suffering we could stop if people just started to make vegan choices like just egg even like once a week exactly it didn't have to be complicated yeah you can just do that and you can have a big impact. Yeah. You talked about how one third of our farms are used to feed animals. Can you talk about your new cell cultured meat, which uses 70 to 80% less land and water emissions? Yeah, cell cultured meat just means that it's it's just real meat. But you don't need to kill the animal. That's all. You can just take one cell and you can make a lot of meat. That's what cell culture meat is. So you basically just take one cell and then do some stuff with it. That's right. Take what you take one cell and you you feed it in this big steel tank, it makes meat over the course of a few weeks. It's really cool. That's really interesting because I thought the only way to make meat would be to kill animals. Nope, that's the past. (laughs) The global food crisis is so big. What is the best way for kids like me to help? You know, I think the single best way for kids like you to help is just do what you're doing by getting the word out and talking to people, talking to your parents and talking to your friends and talking to your teachers teachers about how eating good, really plant-based food is better for you and better for the planet. A kid like you talking a lot about it and then just doing it in their own lives, that's the best thing you can do. All right. Thank you for answering my questions and for joining me today. And remember, together kids can save the world. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.